Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cow playing Spyro the Dragon, the second one, and today we're beating the game. Yeah, we beat all the levels. I got all of the all the orbs. I mean, I don't got all the gems yet, but that's probably gonna happen in the midst of wherever we're gonna be doing up here. Cause I got all the gems in this place. Right, got a hundred percent everywhere. Got the orb. I do. Rifto is only moments away, right? Looking right? forward well, to anyway, it. Good luck. He's right through this door. So we're gonna be fighting directly. In theory, up to now, he's always been summoning minions, but you know he's been kind of sitting down and having fun. We'll see if. Well, he do has his the magic candy blob on a pencil. He's time to shove through it. Oh my gosh, the sheeps are afraid. Uh, what kind of terrible spell is this? I mean. That is literally not any worse than what hey, I've been doing all game. <laughs> Maybe I can help. What? You what? Again? Yep. Look you at the difference in detail between I'm Spyro's model and texture and Ripto. Hmm. I like that idea. Dragon, you just sealed your face. It just is your hand is like a sock puppet, not your hand, but yeah, your mouth is like a hand manipulating a sock puppet. That's just not threatening. I'm sorry. And the O in your name looks like a coin Spyro, slot. We want to help you fight Ripto. Okay. Laura is using the orbs you collected to store power up energy. Fair Hunter enough. We'll throw the powered up orbs to you as they become ready. All right. Even as we speak. The professor is experimenting with new forms of power-up energy, I mean, so you'll soon have abilities that no one has ever seen before. I appreciate that they're doing a thing here where everyone is going to be trying to contribute to the fight. And that's nice. Okay, so I got hurt there like a dumb. So I can bomb into that. It doesn't hurt him, though. Yeah, he just makes him go no. So I got... Okay, so... Could be a race. See? I destroyed this guy for seemingly no reason. Oh, shoot. You got it, and I didn't. So, okay, and that gives you that power up. Got it. Eh. Now I got... Okay, I've just got grenades. Uh, here we go. Don't worry about it. Alright, and I... Doesn't look like I managed to hit him at any point. So, that's cool. It's not like I need to hit him or anything. I, I really want that orb, and I'm really not getting it. Yeah, yeah, right? Look, so he's afraid. Yeah, fire explosions! And just miss him all day long. Oh, I'm very good. I mean, I like what's happening in this fight. I'm just very bad. Ooh, okay. I was pressing a jump button, I swear. I super was. All right. Yeah, here we go! So can I, like, yeah, and you can, like, pack on the damage. Okay, so, oh, sh I didn't know the gem was there. Because, you know, I have a very limited view around myself. Alright, that gives you the old bubble on. See, like, I know there's something vaguely here, but, like, where exactly, right? Uh, okay, well, no. Alright, well, I'm not getting that, I don't think. Uh, okay, I got you. Could you launch a new ship from space? Uh, oh, you know what? That's fine. Red. Uh, that's right. Yeah, explode, Ripto! Blow up! And then, by just doing a little... Uh, see... You'd think I'd see it, but... Alright, so it's back to you. Yeah, Mighty Leap. Mighty Leap. There we go. Mighty Leapsters. Uh, gonna play the game about a frog. Alright, so I'm just waiting for... What if there's exactly 64 orbs that can fall? That'd be weird. Alright, here we go. So I don't know what happened. I just got... Okay, I'm just stronger. I'm just superior. Okay, alright. Oh shoot, I uh, didn't notice. Oh, is it because we were both powered up and that's why you just kind of stood there? Or I didn't have, like, special med- that was confusing. You guys could do a better job at attacking where I am, but guys... Okay, well, I got hurt in a dumb, avoidable way. Accurate! There you go, that's mine. Yeah, oh no, 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 you're gonna get that one. Nope, you're just kinda let me have it, huh? 
I really should destroy that sheep, but I want to get my damage in, and I didn't get any damage in whatsoever. Alright, I did it. Nailed it. Alright, well, you were running towards something I couldn't see. You know? Seeing in front of you? That just doesn't happen, did you? <laughs> Apparently. Ugh. Yeah, I could have dodged that better. Like, that's kind of my bummer that I'm having with this fight here. It's like, I feel like this is being really fun. But a lot of the time, things just vaguely happen around me. And, yeah, like, that's just basically what I feel like is my experience. Things vaguely happen around me. Alright, you just gonna stop right, right when you're basically at uh, the orb. That's the smart thing to do! Rip the roo! Alright, so now what's gonna happen? Oh, okay, it's Robot, that guy. Got it. You replaced him by Automaton. Now you look smug, and your health is back. Okay, so you do that. Well, is this going to be more of that? I don't know. I'm running in the circle. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think you're eating some- yeah, okay. So we still got this thing in mind. It's just that if you put the orb right next to him, surprise! Like, you're on the other side of the arena, Zoe. Like, what do you think is gonna happen? Alright, well, this guy's gonna do something. Alright, okay. That I can dodge. And so I did. I was like, oh, really? That hit me? Alright, well, really, that did hit me. And so did that. Okay. Alright, so you're still just as vulnerable to everything. It's fantastic. So am I. Yeah, I want that sheep. More than the orb. There we go. Like, it just becomes like this crazy orb hunt. It's such a weird thing. Destroy the sheep before you could. Hey, look at that. Like, I gotta, like, close in. Here we go. Grenade time! Blah, blah, grenade zob! Yeah, those are sound effects that I've modulated with my mouth. I want that orb, but I can't get it! Ah, whatever. You're powered up now. That's, that's all there is to it. See, though, we keep putting them right in front of me. Maybe there's a way to, like, there's a timing and you can, like, shape yourself to be close to where she's gonna be. Okay, so we're just in, like, in superior Spider-Man mode here. And I'm just not... No, that didn't do anything. I think I just got hurt. And nothing else. Yeah, the orb is way over there. Dude, sheep, sheep, sheep. You are sacrificed. That is accurate. So, sneak in and get that. Yeah, unless I don't mind your orb move when you're on your ride. Because, I don't know, it's a much worse orb move. Oh, I'm supposed to supercharge. That is such an inconvenient power. Wow. Like, in this fight... But I get it now. Alright, I missed that. Got the sheep, though. See, like, again, like, he's presented as a menace because he attacks a sheep, but I am not any better, and I haven't been all game. Like, that's just the reality of it. Alright. Uh, I want that. I got that. That's right. Orb stolen. But now all the activity is over there where I'm not, because Zoe is very smart with how she distributes these. Alright, here we go. Then just calm down. Let things happen. Alright. There's an orb here on a road! And now I will bombard you with the road! That's, that's the name of that power-up. Alright, blew up! Ooh, there's like golden things everywhere and I'm not moving at all. I'm just letting him do that. That's what I do. Bird! Okay, we're flying now, apparently. All right, okay, I'm cool with that. Um, one day I'll regain controls, maybe, and... Uh, oh, there's no more floor anymore. I'm being very serious. Now, the reason why this is terrible is that now that I don't have to collect power-ups to go on the offensive, I'm just gonna want to go on the offensive all the time. The, which means that I'm not gonna be careful about, like, living and stuff. Like, I know myself. I know that that's my destiny. Man, this is just... I have no... Okay, so... I guess I'm not supposed to hurt him, maybe? 
Whoa, you got a jetpack. Jetpack bird. Okay, all right. Uh, I got... Yeah, you got me there. That's the sound you make. That's right. You make a sound of pain when you're in pain. Incredible. What a thought. Where are you at this point? Where are you at, bird? Running away from me? You're superior? Well, I'm almost dead, so... I don't know what happens if I do die. Oh! Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Soft lava bed. That hurts! Wow! Okay. Of course, he doesn't put them anywhere where I can get them, because Zoe's very smart and excellent at her job. Oh, well, let's me see this new exciting attack. The old fire dragon. Yeah, put him right in front of his mouth, Zoe. You got it. You're really good at this. I'm glad you're here. Whoa, that's also a new attack. It's very short-lived. Well, I'm just kind of stuck against you here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, missed you. And I'm dead. Wow. to the air. So don't get hurt by a shot. That's kind of hard to see sometimes because I just fill the screen with explosions. Go. Yeah. Uh -huh. So yeah, if he plays at me, it's not bad. Look at that. Look how much more effective I am. Been, though. Like he's almost dead and I haven't been touched once yet. Okay. All right. So I think he's behind the building. Yeah, he's hiding. What a fool! There we go. Uh, I think we hit each other. I press the jump button in time to get my glide back on. Oh, okay, he blew up, but like I'm falling too. Everyone's just sinking in the lava. That's just the kind of day we're having. It looks really cheesy, <laughs> honestly, more than lava. Ripto defeated. 
It didn't get any gems. Wait a second. What if... There's a post-game, like the treasure zone from the other game. Oh, I forgot about that. Alright, we did it though! Everyone's here, including the bear. Thank you enough, Spyro. I suppose you have to go now? So yeah, scaly. Better. They'll be missing me in the dragon worlds, and I've still got a vacation to take. Yeah. More than ever now. Before you go, I think that Moneybags has something he wants to give you. Hmm. This I is so weirdly... Hunter? So weirdly, like... What is it what I'm looking for? Sudden? Spyro, Moneybags is very sorry that he made you pay so much on your way through Avalar. We want you to keep the gems as a reward for helping us. <laughs> wow, okay. Thanks. Sparks, can you grab them? I mean, he did exchange yeah, things in exchange. Like, before. it's not like he Let's stole the money. There. Spyro, you can now go to Dragon Shores. Oh, hey, boy. Hey, you guys come with me? I bet you could use a holiday. I'm afraid we can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. Has he? Been up for weeks. Just remember, though, that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon Shores if you want to visit. Well, oh, well, okay. That's come on, nice. Sparks. We've got a lot of vacation to catch up on. Alright, we did it! We beat the game! I mean, honestly, it's a pretty rad boss. It's just that I took... It's just, you know, if you die in the plane part, you, you die in the pain part and you're restarting. Which, I mean, is fair. It's absolutely fine. I it's just I took it as a shock. Uh, but this was a lot of fun. Um, I'm still reserving, you know, my... T well, I shouldn't, honestly. Like, we're in the credit. If there's any time to do my review, it's now. Um, so this game, Spyro the Second, it does improve on things on Spyro 1, and what it does take from Spyro 1 is as good as it ever been. Like, it still feels great most of the time. Sometimes you're going to touchy, more like, more precise controls, and I feel it faltered a little bit, but that could just be me. Uh, I really like the idea of the power ups, like, I like. You know, the gem, killing enemies ver to get gems versus getting the soul. I feel like I like the soul system a lot more. And yeah, like the power-ups, for the most part, they were like a lot of fun. Like they really add to the gameplay without necessarily like replacing it. Like it's good. It's very well made. But boy, there's just something about everything that has to do with the NPC is... Like, the quests they give, a lot of- there were some that were interesting, but most of them just felt like awkward filler. And, unfortunately, that's like half of what you're doing in each world. Uh, you know, and I just can't help but wonder. Like, if I went for uh, any percent run and just ignored all the orb rewards, so I didn't go for all the mini games, I- I believe that I would have liked the game more. It's just, it's never gonna happen because I, if you give me a thing with a meter, like I'm gonna fill it. Like that's, that's just how it is. But yeah, no, like I, 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 the parts that were like Spyro, I loved. And I could argue were better than, you know, chunks of the first Spyro. But then it gets brought down by the other. Um, I st still definitely want to play Spyro 3, knowing that it tends to lean towards the aspects I didn't like. But, but I definitely want to play it, and it it's on the list, but I'm, I will, like, be absolutely frank. Uh, when I ended Spyro 1, there was a hunger to keep on playing the series and to jump into Spyro 2 as early as possible. That hunger isn't there for number three. I want to play the game, but like, I'm not gonna do shenanigans to make it appear on my playing uh, soon list uh, later than it should, you know? Uh, it'll come when it'll come. Maybe a little bit of distance will be good to maybe be able to appreciate it on its own terms. Because I feel like I played this game with memories of the first, and it definitely had an impact, for better or for good. But I still like that though, like, it's not to say that I didn't enjoy the game. It is well made, it is beautifully crafted, uh, it works very well. It's just that I didn't like the minigames. Like, 
the best mini games of this game are like middling mini games from Banjo Kazooie, you know? Like, I don't know. Maybe that's nostalgia speaking and that's not fair. That's extremely possible, and I admit it, but that's not gonna change how I interface with a game, you know? Uh, what else? I, I feel there's something I want to bring out, but I'm not remembering it. So hopefully it wasn't too important. This is basically what he did at the end of the Spiral the first, I have to say. Just like this pan through the maps. We get to see the places. Oh yeah, the writing! I think that's part of it. So, the writing has a lot of spla slapstick, it has a lot of cartoon violence. Had I played this game when it was out, for the first time on a PlayStation, at that age, I bet I would appreciate it a lot more than I have now. But... It's just... With me, the me now, the Rao Cow of 2021, it just all felt, like, awkwardly violent and just kinda off-puttingly mean-spirited sometimes. And I can return to the real place. Yeah. So next time, yeah, so there is a pose game. Here we go. Pose on with our control. We're gonna do that next time. We're back at home with Norks and Dragons and we're gonna mess around. Post game.